Hey, welcome to River Parish Cajun Creole Cooking with, wait for it, me, David Hubble. Today I'll be showing you how to make one of my favorite recipes, Chef John Fols's Meliton Soup from his 2004 Encyclopedia of Cajun and Creole Cuisine. For this recipe, you'll need 12 Louisiana Heirloom Meliton, which weigh about 3 quarters to 1 pound apiece, or you could find the equivalent weight in chowdy squash or vegetable pears from Costa Rica or Mexico. In addition to the Meliton, you will need a half a cup of butter, 2 cups diced onions, 1 cup diced celery, half a cup sliced green onions, a quarter cup minced garlic, 3 quarter cups flour, 1 cup sliced mushrooms, and one cup half and half and a half a cup of chopped parsley. Additionally you'll need seasonings of salt, cayenne pepper and your favorite Louisiana hot sauce which you'll season to taste with later. And rounding out the list of ingredients will be two pounds 70 to 90 count shrimp peeled and deveined and three quarts of chicken stock. The first step is to prepare the meliton and this is going to be done by boiling it but first I want to explain I've got two varieties here. This is the Giacomo variety, a little bit wider base, than, and it runs about a pound each. You can see it's got a nice smooth skin, but it's got some crevices and creases down there. On this side I have a family heirloom, a Boudreaux Robert variety, also with the creases, but it runs about three quarters pound. It's also got very smooth skin as well. So the first thing we need to do is cut these in half and put them in a uh, water bath to boil. So I'm going to demonstrate that here. Find that crease, get a very sharp knife, make sure you don't cut yourself, and just gently insert the blade into the crease and gently apply pressure and it should push through. And there you go. Inside you got the flesh of the meliton with a single seed. And now the other side. So that's with the Boudreaux Robert Meliton. Now I'll demonstrate this again with this Giacomo. And there's all kind of other varieties out there, but these are two that I grow in my backyard. So I'll find a small crease once again. Be careful not to push too much. And just gentle force, and it'll just slide right through. And let's see. Uh-huh, the same thing. So once all your meliton have been cut, you can put them in a 10-quart pot and fill with water to get ready to boil. Now the recipe calls for some lightly salted water, but taking a cue from one of Chef John's other recipes for meliton, I'm adding a capful of concentrated shrimp and crab boil, the secret ingredient. Now boil your meliton until tender, but do not overcook. In my case it took about 20 minutes, and you know it's done when you can insert a sharp knife into the flesh, just like with a potato. Remove from heat and run under cold water to help with the cooling process. They'll stay hot for about 10 minutes or so before you can really start doing anything with them. So as the meliton cool, it's a good time now to cut up your ingredients and prepare them for the soup. And here you see I've got them all proportioned out in their little measuring cups. And additionally, you can go through and make sure you've picked through your shrimp, make sure there's no shells or anything else in there. Now that the meliton are cool, it's time to scoop out the pulp. So first what we do is take a teaspoon, take, go for the seed and just simply scrape it off. comes off pretty easy. And then there's also a little bit of a fibrous membrane that needs to be removed as well. Otherwise that just gets in the way when you're trying to eat it. Then simply insert the spoon and just scoop it out. See how easy that is? Here's a close up. So we continue on doing this and it just scoops and scrapes out really easily. This is the method I also use if I'm going to stuff meliton because it keeps the shell 
or this outer skin in a pretty um, constant state that you can just restuff it later. Sometimes if you overdo it or don't cook it enough, the, the actual skin on the outside kind of breaks up and it's hard to stuff. Now the original recipe calls for peeling these and cutting them into quarter inch cubes. And in that case, probably we wouldn't have uh, cooked it as long as we did in, in this case. But I find for soups and casseroles, the 20 minutes works better and it gives you this kind of uh, consistency which is ideal for soups and casseroles. And you may want to put that in a colander to drain. And here's the final product. I didn't drain it in this case because it's going to be going into a soup, but that's the result of the 12 melanton we had earlier. In my heavy cast iron Dutch oven, affectionately called Old Dutchy, I've melted a half a cup of butter over medium high heat. To that I've added the onions, break them down, so now I can coat the onions completely with the butter. And then following that, I add to it the celery. And once again, I will mix these up to coat those as well. And then finally, to this initial two, I add the green onions. Stirring as well. I'll let these cook a minute or two, and then I like to add my garlic after that and there it is stir it around as well and let these saute three to five minutes so once this is sauteed and wilted I will start to add to it the melaton pulp which I further mash down a little bit more and this is just a demonstration of some of the pulp going in and then also add half the shrimp. Chef John likes to call this sacrificing the shrimp because you don't put the whole thing in but you get some of the flavor by adding it early. So you continue to saute for five to ten minutes or until melaton and shrimp are well blended and the shrimp are pink and curled. And then sprinkle in flour and mix well. see how it's thickening up there. Now it's time to add the chicken stock, one ladle at a time. And make sure you stir it constantly until it reaches a soup-like consistency. So we'll keep adding and there's our soup-like consistency. Now we'll bring it to a low boil reduce to simmer and cook 20 to 30 minutes, stirring often. Then we'll add the remaining shrimp. Get in there, come on. And the mushrooms. That's a little out of focus, sorry about that. And then to this we will blend in our half and half. as well as the parsley. Now cook this an additional five minutes or until the shrimp have turned pink. And then season to taste using salt, pepper, and your favorite Louisiana hot sauce. Man, that looks good. So there you have it, Chef John Fulce's Melaton Soup made with Louisiana Heirloom Melaton. This is David Hubble, and thank you for watching.